whenever you guys want, could you just explain this contraption that you've put together? <laughs> okay, yeah. So, uh, this is our hand controlled tilt maze. Um, there are currently five holes in the maze, uh, and one uh, based on the program, which uh, Emmy will explain later. Uh, is designed to be the destination and the other four are holes which you can control trap doors in using the glove so, you see <laughs> the trap doors will rise and fall based on different finger combinations for the glove and once a button is pressed the tilting will begin and uh the goal is to navigate this red ball to the destination hole without falling into any of the trap holes and then if it falls into the right hole, it'll go through the bucket and uh, the TFT will declare a winner. Wow. So, so you're wearing this glove mm -hmm. and by putting your fingers together, you can activate trap doors yep. underneath here. Yep. And there's a ball in the maze. And when you enable it, you will be able to tilt your hand and move the ball through the maze. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's how it works. Okay, and if it falls through, it lands in one of these buckets. Yep, and there's IR LEDs on the bottom that uh, detect if it falls through the right or the wrong hole. So you can you can detect which bucket it falls into. Yep. Okay, and then what's on the screen here? So the screen, this is like the initialization screen. So it shows the maze, and then it maps um, fingers to a specific number, which corresponds to a hole. Okay. And then, so the one in green is the destination. And then this hand here shows like which finger can control which trap door to, yeah, just to make it easier. Okay. So can we see it work? Yeah. So to start the game, there's a start button. So once you press it, it'll engage the uh, rotational part. So here it wants me to go to this hole, which is that one. So I guess I'll try to, that's actually the hardest hole. So let's, oh, okay, I failed, but as you can see, <laughs> it fell through this hole and then actually detected that it fell through the wrong hole and said that you lose. So it fell into that bucket there. Yep, this one right there. And then it detected that it fell into the wrong hole and indicated loss. Yep. Yeah. And there's a way to play again. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, to play again, you just press this again. So there's actually a practice stage where it, tells you what each fingers are mapped to uh -huh. uh, and then it just lets you practice and get used to it and once you're ready you can just press the button again I'll put it, I'll put it close by. I'll put sounds it. good yeah. cool so to play again you just press this so okay so I want to go here so oh that's oh I didn't realize <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah but so if I want to close that hole I guess I'll just close this finger and then Go through. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's such a pretty tricky game. Okay, and I want to close this hole. So when you close the hole, the ball can traverse over it? Yep. So you just went you, over that closed oh, hole? Fine. You yep. want to go this way? Yep. Oh, okay. And it fell through the right hole and, and it said that you win. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. So the the what is the sensor that you have here on the top of the glove? Yeah, this is the MPU sixty fifty. Uh so it has uh accelerometer that we use to read um the acceleration. I guess because like the earth has like a constant nine point eight meters per second squared acceleration, so we kinda map that to an angle, like as you rotate your hand, that value changes. And then as for these um, finger sensors, uh, what we have here is like a, a five volt uh, plate. And once you touch it to any of these, these are connected to a pin on the PIC32. Yeah. So when you connect it, kind of like uh, closes the circuit and acts like a button. So that's like the glove component of our device. So you cut apart a solder board to make these, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then this is, Laser cut, correct? Yes. Yeah, the wood is laser cut, and then this is the black parts are all 3D printed. Very cool. Did it take much tuning to? Because I imagine 
that if you're not careful, this could be very sensitive. Mm -hmm. Did it did it take much tuning to figure out how to how much to filter that sensor input? Um, yeah, there was some tuning. It was mostly just we did a low pass filter of the accelerometer input, and then we had a kind of just a direct mapping of the accelerometer readings, x, like the x and y readings. Very cool. Awesome. Thank you, guys.